It's December 1st and it's the first day of Advent of Code 2024. So let's get started solving the first day puzzles of the event. It's starting in 18 seconds. Uh, if you haven't started solving this first day's problem yet, I definitely recommend you to solve it first and then watch this video so that you don't get any spoilers or hints and you, you can actually do the problem solving. So, it's unlocked, so let's get started. Historian Hysteria. So, we'll have uh, some locations checked. We'll have, uh, we'll have stars. And we'll, our goal is to get 50 stars before December 25th. And we are go uh, going to collect stars by solving puzzles, and each day we'll get one star. Uh, actually, each puzzle will get us one star, and we'll have two puzzles each day. So that's the general description. And now we will start actually looking into the problem itself. So the list of locations to check is currently empty. So we start in the historian's office, right? It's just a story, backstory, and then we have historically significant locations are listed not by name, but by unique location ID. We are going to split the IDs into two groups. Okay. By holding the two lists of locations side by side, so that's the puzzle input, we have uh, two numbers on each line. And our goal is to pair up the numbers and measure how far apart they are. So we are going to par pair the smallest number in the left list with the smallest number in the right list. And then uh, the second smallest left number with the second smallest right number and so on. So our goal is basically to uh, sort the numbers and find uh, the total distance. Right? And the total distance is the num actually the distances between all those pairs of numbers that we found. All right, that seems uh, pretty straightforward. Our goal is basically to sort uh, the two lists and then find the, the differences between these two. So, yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. So let's get started. So I will uh, actually take the sample input so that we can test our initial solution. So let's take it here. And then what we'll do is um, we'll have two lists. And uh, while uh, console read line is string line, we'll uh, Parse the actually we will take the line and do uh, parts line split, and we can actually now uh, parse the li the list. So uh, parts zero, and then we will do the same thing for uh, parts one. So. Uh, that's good, and we'll add it to list two. So we, we uh, basically create the two uh, two numbers, and then we will have two lists that we can sort. So uh, so list one sort, and this will sort the list. Uh, we'll sort the second list, and then we will do the comparison. So the result will be uh, four. We'll actually have the 
total diff, total difference, and then for list one count will now do the difference. So total diff or e plus equals and yeah, that's the difference, absolute difference between the two numbers. And actually, let's see if we do. Uh, yeah, this is we are looking for a distance, so that's the absolute number of the two, uh, of the difference between the two numbers, and we output the total difference. So let's see if this is actually working. Ah, right. I made a mistake here. So we should be looking into. Oh, there's zero numbers. So it seems that we actually don't have to input correctly piped into the problem. So let's see. I'm trying to. Mm, so we have to have input there. So let's check. Uh, actually, if we, are, if we are reading the numbers, so the line is OK. We are actually, oh, actually, right. That's probably it. So the numbers are not correctly read. So we need to make sure that we are skipping the empty entries, remove empty entries. So this is the right way to do it. We should be getting the output working now. So let's actually console read key. And now let's see what happens. And we should get the output of 11 there. So that is okay. So now let's take the actual full input there and put it here. So let's run again. And the result is this number. And that is correct. So then we have first result done. And now let's go for the, for the second part of the puzzle. Uh, the second part is usually a little bit more complicated version of the first problem. So uh, we usually can take the same, um, so same uh, program that we made for, for the first part and then just try to adjust it and make it work for the second part. That's usually the way the problems are made, but sometimes they are more different. So it depends. So let's start uh, reading the description. So uh, this time we need to figure out exactly how often each number from the left list appears on the right list. So uh, that we can calculate a similarity score by adding up each number in the left list after multiplying it by the number of times that the number appears in the right list. Okay, so we basically take the difference and we multiply it by the, we multiply it by the number of times it appears in the right list. So yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So we, and we don't care about the duplicates, so we basically do it for each of the appearance, right? So yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that seems good. Okay, so let's, we, uh, let's do this. We will read the numbers again. And now what we can actually do while reading the numbers is to 
calculate the council count. Counts one. This new dictionary comes to this dictionary. And now for each of the numbers, we'll also count the now number of times it appeared in the list. And actually, that's what, what uh, Copilot is uh, now suggesting me. So I uh, add, if the number is not in the list yet, I will, if it's on the list, we will increase the number of appearances. And if it's not there, we will set it to one as uh, the first appearance. And we will do the same thing for the number two. So uh, for the second number, so we'll count the number of appearances of that number and increase it in the second list. And now we will do the total uh, results. So uh, total, and we will do total plus equals. And it's gonna be uh, number of times, so uh, we'll multiply the number itself, right? We'll into multiply it by the number of times it appears on the right list. So actually, I don't need the counts one here. So I can retrieve that. So I can do just the list one i multiplied by counts two uh, of list one i. So basically, I check how many times that number is showing up in the second list and add it to the total. So if I run this, I should be getting, I have to agree, fix this exception that's running here, but uh, this should be working now. Actually, I'm not running the right one here. So if I run this, I should be getting the result there. Oh, we are giving, oh, right, right. We are not checking if it's actually there. So if, if uh, counts two contains list one. So we have to check if the number is actually there. So let's do that. And we should be getting 31. And that is actually the same as here. So I can take the full input, copy it, put it here, and we'll rerun it. And we are getting the number 2338739. So let's check if that is correct. And it is. And with that, we have solved the first day of Advent of Code 2024. Uh, and the next day unlocks in 23 hours, 47 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick solution. Uh, I made some mistakes, we don't have to fix, I have to fix my uh, test, uh, my, opera, uh, my uh, program runner here, but it's gonna be hopefully working pretty soon. So uh, I will see you in the next day. And also I will publish a video of uh, ChatGPT solving this same problem. Uh, and we will see if ChatGPT is able to solve it without any issues. Uh, or if it gonna if it's gonna have some problems solving uh, the first day's puzzles. So see you next time. Bye bye.